So let's first talk about the limitations of the Unreal Engine 5 early access on the Mac. Since we have, since I'm running from the M1, uh, from my Mac Mini, it just means that um, I'm locked out of uh, several things. As you can see, these are the release notes for Unreal Engine 5. And is, um, as it says, like these uh, rendering features like Lumen, Dynamic, uh, GI, and Reflections, and all that, uh, they actually are targeted for uh, next-gen consoles, high-end PCs and whatnot. So basically, it's not supported on M1, obviously, uh, because uh, as we speak, there is no uh, uh, real-time ray tracing supported on the M chips right now. Also, Nanites, uh, virtualized geometry, again, um, as you can see, uh, specific GPU requirements uh, beyond the base requirements of UE5. I expect that it has to do with the mesh shading capabilities that was introduced in 2018 on the Turing uh, generation of NVIDIA, and it's now supported on RDNA 2 and uh, on the current RTX 3000 series of graphics, but obviously, again, it's not uh, supported on the Mac. Also, I don't... I'm not sure, it might not be supported if you are connecting your, like say, 6800 or 6700 XT AMD RDNA 2 video card uh, externally via Thunderbolt or whatever uh, to your Mac. I don't think it will work as well because um, presumably the mesh shading works better with the DirectX. I don't think it's written on the metal for Mac. So with those caveats out of the way, I'm just going to say that, yes, the Unreal Engine 5 works. Yes, um, it is as stable as 426.2, which is a low bar, but still it runs. Um, and uh, without further ado, let's see uh, what we have. As you can see, like there is the new splash screen. Uh, there is a lot of things loading, initializing, and yada, yada, yada. Um, next up, I think we uh, press the third person and just saying that I already did this, as you can see my project 2 is here uh, because I already have the, where is it, my project 1, which is for whatever reason it's not saved here, but you get the point. Um, the next section of this video will show you uh, the progress of loading and compiling the shaders and then we will play uh, within the viewport. So, see you in a couple of seconds. So right now, as you can see, I have successfully opened up the project. And as we can see as well, I'm actually compiling the shaders. And the compiling shaders is really, really slow. As you can see, it's like 1650 right now, and nothing practically happens. The reason for that is mainly because, as you can see, uh, the CPUs, uh, the, uh, the CPU is being used only two cores. Um, like the activity monitor on the Mac, it works as if one core is 100%, so two cores is 200%, and uh, it doesn't use four cores or six or eight or anything, it just uses two, so that is why it is so slow. But it's going there, and we still have not crashed, so when I'm done compiling the shaders, let's see how it goes, and for now I'm just going to stop the recording and, you know, see what's what. Okay, so we finally we finally um, compiled all the shaders, and the project did not crash, thankfully. So let's try to play the thing, and as you can see, we are we are we are playing the game in Unreal Engine Five. That's that's like um, that's a first for me for sure. So as you can see, we can go and you know tweak some. Um, some of the lightning, the atmosphere, all of that, uh, like the classic blueprints that are uh, starting, um, you know, that are shipping with the uh, default third-person project. Uh, what else? So, let's see, the content browser is kind of uh, looking pretty much interesting because f uh, now you can define the thumbnail size by small, tiny, medium or something. Previously, it was a slider, and I did not really like the slider, I think, like... Uh, uh, this way it's a little bit better. Hopefully it actually remembers how it looks. Uh, now let's see if uh, we can uh, drag and drop some fire. And the fire definitely works. Obviously no RTX on M1 system on Mac anyway. Also the content drawer, uh, there was a suggestion that if you press uh, control, whoops, if you press control, 
control space bar, it will open up. Ironically, it doesn't work, so maybe it's just because of my Mac. Uh, what else? Um, if I press command comma, we can go to the DPI and disable the DPI viewport scaling so that we can actually, uh, you know, see the uh, everything in 4K and obviously uh, the FPS drops, you know, significantly. It was actually higher. I have a lot of things in the background running, like uh, 20 tabs of Google Chrome and whatever. I was just reading through the uh, UE5 docs. Anyway, so we press play, we can see everything that, you know, the fire, the usual special effects. Uh, uh, as you can see, what else? Uh, screen space, uh, reflections work as intended. Overall, it's not fast uh, because when I just drag and dropped uh, this little fire explosion, let's actually uh, drag and drop sparks, you will see shaders compiled in 36. So on like a Windows PC with RTX card and whatever, uh, it will take maybe, I don't know, five seconds or so. Here we are watching at least like five to 10 seconds. I mean, uh, the, sh the shader compiling like runs at least twice as slow, which is not fantastic. But uh, the very fact that it runs it at all, and we have the particles, we have the geometry, we have everything, it's, it's great. Now, I am not sure how to make uh, this viewport smaller so we can actually have a little bit more performance. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. So what I really wanted to talk about as the last thing is maybe going into materials. And the materials, they look as they did in Unreal Engine 4. Uh, the same hotkeys work. If you press 1, it's a constant. If you press 3, it's a vector. If you press V, it's a vector parameter. O for 1, negative X. M for multiply. And, you know, everything works as intended as it worked previously. And actually, the interface looks the same so nothing to worry about there Oops. Uh, what else blueprints open level group uh, <laughs> blooper uh, blueprints uh, nothing here as well so uh, pretty much looks the same as Unreal Engine 4 by the way but a little bit more uh, kind of like I don't want to say it but professional but you know like a little bit flatter a little bit darker so you will not go blind where when you will be staying up all nights coding your stuff in Unreal Engine 5 because this is what is life about, you know what I'm saying? Is <laughs> staying up late, uh, not having a lot of sleep and just uh, creating your game. So anyway, that, that was that, right? This is it. It pretty much works as you expect. As you can see, I have the uh, versions 426.2, which now actually uh, works okay-ish on Mac M1 and version 5.0 which as you can see kind of works okay-ish as well so if you are just learning like Unreal Engine and Blueprints and all of that I think I actually don't think you will get all that lost uh, because um, overall the interface is a little bit different but it's more or less the same thing uh, that you are used to. So, hopefully this was useful. Um, again, we will um, we will discuss like game development on Mac. Uh, hopefully later this year on PC and everything else um, that is, you know, within the realms of Unreal Engine Five. So and Unreal Engine Four, by the way. So, you know, hit subscribe button if you are interested in this kind of like developer vlog. I think um, hopefully we will do great things and see you in the next video. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. Goodbye.